Oumuamua, the interstellar traveler that left scientists and astronomers scratching their heads, is making a jaw-dropping return. Elon Musk has his eyes on it. And let me tell you, it's not what you think. So, what's Oumuamua's deal? Why is it back? And what's Elon Musk got to say about it? Stay tuned, folks, because this cosmic mystery is about to get even wilder. But before we go any further, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Now, let's get started. Back in 2017, Aumuamua barged into our solar system like an uninvited guest from another galaxy. Some people even speculated it could be an alien spaceship. Now, just when we thought it was gone, it's back. And it's not alone. Why? What's the deal with this celestial nomad? Elon Musk's got some thoughts on this, and you don't want to miss them. October 19, 2017 was a historic day. The Pan-STARS-1 telescope, with its massive 1.4 billion pixel camera, caught Oumuamua cruising through our cosmic neighborhood. This telescope, backed by NASA's NEOA program, keeps a vigilant eye on our skies, watching out for asteroids and comets that might pose a threat. For ages, astronomers dreamt about interstellar objects like Oumuamua, but it was all theory until this strange visitor arrived. Imagine something moving at an insane 25,000 miles per hour, faster than anything we've seen from our solar system. But Oumuamua made a hair-raising slingshot past the sun at 196,000 miles per hour. Back when Oumuamua first entered our solar system, it was like a cosmic alarm clock ringing in a frenzy of telescopic investigations. Everyone, from scientists to sky gazers, wanted to know more about this intriguing interstellar guest. Even ESO's very large telescope in Chile joined the hunt. But why do we call it Oumuamua? Well, this oddity didn't come with a name tag, so the brilliant minds who discovered it gave it a name with a story. Oumuamua hails from Hawaii, and it translates to visitor from afar. Aptly named, considering the incredible journey it's been on, let's talk about its appearance, shall we? Oumuamua's not your run-of-the-mill space rock. It's a long, rocky, cigar-shaped wonder with a reddish hue, making it quite the cosmic fashion statement. It's about 0.4 kilometers long, roughly 400 miles. But here's where it gets weird. Oumuamua's 10 times longer than it is wide. That's not something you see every day in space. Oumuamua isn't just unique in looks. It's got some otherworldly features that have scientists scratching their heads. First up, its speed. It blitzed past the sun at a velocity straight out of a sci-fi movie, leaving us all in awe. Oumuamua defied gravity, showing what looked like a non-gravitational acceleration. Picture scientists expected it to follow the sun's gravitational pull, but surprise, it deviated slightly and picked up speed. What's responsible for this cosmic curveball? We're still figuring that out. But Oumuamua's peculiarities don't stop there. It's not just zooming through space. It's tumbling and spinning around its short axis, switching from bright to dim every 7.3 hours. And guess what? This spinning isn't causing it to explode, likely because it's made of tougher stuff than your average comet. And don't forget its dark red color, reminiscent of moons in the outer solar system. There's a reason they all share that hue. But that's a mystery for another day. A mamwa, with its peculiar traits, has the scientific world buzzing. Spectral data hints that it might have been zapped by space radiation, which could explain its bizarre organic ice damage. But Karen Meech from the Institute for Astronomy in Hawaii suggests another twist. Iron might be behind its dark red hue. These distinctive features, as Elon Musk points out, offer us a peek into life beyond our solar system. However, the biggest cosmic conundrum remains. Where did Oumuamua come from? While we're sure it's an interstellar visitor, its origin is one of the century's greatest questions. Initially, experts thought it hailed from Vega, the brightest star in the Lyra constellation, a journey that we've taken 600,000 years. But now, its Vega origins are up for debate due to its changing trajectory. So, where else could it be from? 
The possibilities are vast. Aumuamua might have been wandering our galaxy for billions of years or journeyed hundreds of thousands of years through 20,000 star systems. That might sound incredibly long, but our galaxy's lifespan is about 10 billion years with a whopping 200 billion stars. But astronomers believe this might be Aumuamua's maiden voyage into a new star system. Its speed when it passes our sun matches that of nearby stars. To trace its origin, Corin Baylor Jones from the Max Planck Institute for Astronomy embarked on a cosmic quest. He compared Aumuamua's trajectory to 7 million stars' previous positions using data from the Gaia spacecraft. After a thorough investigation, four candidates emerged, but pinpointing its true home isn't straightforward. According to Elon Musk, Baylor noticed something peculiar. Aumuamua's path led to an area between 1 to 2 Oort cloud radii, or 100,000 to 200,000 astronomical units AU. Encounter velocities for these possible homes ranged from 6 to 16 miles per hour, leaving scientists in a cosmic quandary. Scientists initially speculated that Aumuamua might be a planetesimal, a cosmic building block ejected during a planet's formation. But the sheer velocity of Aumuamua's journey raised eyebrows. Some believe it could be from a binary star system, but none of the four potential home stars for Aumuamua are binary. Is there a gap in our knowledge? Only time will tell. Hope glimmers on the horizon with the release of more Gaia data. Astronomers eagerly anticipate this data to pinpoint Aumuamua's origin. Whether it's from Vega or somewhere more enigmatic, one question lingers. What sent Aumuamua hurtling through space, away from its home? Scientists have proposed various scenarios, from cosmic collisions to supernova explosions. But what type of interstellar object is Aumuamua? Is it a wandering asteroid of doom, destined to threaten Earth? Or perhaps, as Garrett Levine suggests, it's an ice fragment ejected from distant planetary disks, now entering our solar system as interstellar debris. However, Aumuamua defies expectations. It doesn't quite fit the mold of typical interstellar debris. Its non-gravitational acceleration leaves scientists puzzled. What could it be? Some argue it's an interstellar comet or asteroid, while others suggest something mind-boggling. Astronomers like A.V. Loeb propose that Aumuamua could be a deliberately constructed spacecraft, a beacon from an alien civilization. But let's explore the comet versus asteroid debate. Comets are known for their icy composition, forming tails when heated by the sun. Aumuamua, however, showed no signs of a tail or coma. It lacks the characteristic water expulsion seen in comets. Furthermore, its brightness exceeded that of a typical comet, with a reflectivity of about 10% compared to the usual 4%. This suggests a different thermal composition. So, could Oumuamua be an asteroid? Well, asteroids are rocky bodies, but they're typically spherical in shape, unlike Oumuamua's elongated form. And let's not forget its mind-boggling non-gravitational acceleration. Asteroids just can't pull off those kinds of moves. But what about the most thrilling possibility of all? Is Aumuamua an alien spacecraft? Well, astronomers like A.V. Loeb and even the chief of the Pentagon UFO office have suggested just that. They talk of extraterrestrial motherships lurking in our solar system sending out microscopic probes like space-faring dandelion seeds. A recent document from the Pentagon All-Domain Anomaly Resolution Office fuels this theory. It's statistically unrealistic to think it isn't. I mean, given, given the vastness of the universe. A.V. Loeb is convinced that Aumuamua is an advanced alien civilization's handiwork, ready to overcome any cosmic challenge. But skeptics argue that interstellar space missions are far-fetched, considering the colossal distances involved. Plus, Aumuamua remains radio silent. Could this silence be a calculated move by our interstellar neighbors to stay incognito? It's an eerie thought, isn't it? As we ponder this, Aumuamua is vanishing from our sight, but not from our thoughts. Elon Musk predicts Aumuamua will enter the Kuiper Belt in 2024, passing its edge in 2025, 
and reached the Voyager's most remote points in 2038. This cosmic wanderer has opened our eyes to the vast possibilities beyond our solar system. Astronomers estimate that similar interstellar objects pass through our inner solar system every year, just waiting to be discovered.